Well, good afternoon, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you're having a great Friday afternoon and getting ready to get home so you can see the Dallas Cowboys preseason finale against the Seattle Seahawks. I can't wait because, you know, we're going to be seeing all kinds of stuff. We're going to see guys that are literally battling it out um, for roster positions. And as I say, thank you to all of the YouTube creators out there who have gotten in depth with so many different players on the team, on the roster and stuff that you probably wouldn't have any idea who they were had it not been for all of the coverage that you get here, because you get so much coverage from guys like Vash Lombardi and, uh, from law nation and, West Coast Cowboys and, um, you know, uh, A to Z sports. And I mean, everybody, all, all of the great YouTubers are going through and they're covering the guys to the nth degree that now they feel like they're family. And we know that a lot of these guys are not going to be coming back. They're going to be getting cut. And this is where you now start looking and seeing the preseason games more and more important because we have gotten to know these guys in the past. You would know some of these guys that are about getting cut and be like, who? But they are. The thing that, that's always bothered me in football, and you know, football is enjoyed by so many people, but there's different levels of knowledge when it comes to football. You know, I always tell people, or I try to teach people, um, you know, a little bit deeper on my channel, some of the battles and stuff that have gone on, having played, you know, offensive line in high school um, and then playing nose guard in college, that. You know, I've got some knowledge. Not, I mean, I'm only scratching the surface. It's not like I'm, you know, professional football player forever. But having a, a knowledge and an understanding and passing on what I know to others, and see, a lot of people will just watch football and they'll just see they'll follow the football. They'll follow the quarterback getting it, handing off to the running back, the guy getting tackled or passing it, and so on. And they don't understand the subtleties of the game. The real battles actually go on, and the real violence is on every play on the line. And having grown up as a lineman, it always bothered me because I had a trigger word that used to bother me because they would say the skilled players you know, were the running back, the, the, the quarterback, the receivers. The non-skilled players, well, you're the lineman, and it was kind of like you were the redheaded stepchild, you know, uh, that, that, that got crumbs. And see, the thing about football is this. You can have 10 guys do the right things. 10 guys. One guy doesn't do the right assignment. It doesn't work. And see, most people don't understand that when you're an offensive lineman or defensive lineman, especially an offensive lineman, I think center is one of the hardest positions there are on the football field. Because not only are you snapping a football between your legs with your head down, you are calling out the offense so that way all of the offensive linemen know. You know, maybe the play was set to run here in the A gap. But, you know, the defense is in a different alignment. You're basically passing it on to everybody that we're changing the play. We're going to move to the next hole over because that's actually going to be a little bit more advantageous. And then everybody has to understand that we are changing the play from the quarterback to the run back to all of the linemen and so on. Quarterback will call out the protection, find out who's the Mike linebacker, who is the middle of field, which is the strong side, which is the weak side. And translate that to the offensive line. The defensive line is going to be playing games. They're going to be doing X stunts. So you may think that it's just this guy in front of me. But this guy, his job is he's going to grab you in the shoulder pad and try and pull you inside while the other lineman comes around off his butt. In which case, that means you and the other guy have to coordinate and understand that this is now getting passed off to you. I've got to get the outside or the quarterback is going to get tattooed. And if you think that there's no skill involved being out there as a tackle and having to take a guy who might be running a 4 six forty, rushing at you, that there's no skill involved in stopping him, then you don't understand football. And I always try and pass on some knowledge to you guys, like I said, you know, understanding that it's not just, okay, I'm just running upfield that there's games that are being played. And like for me, my move was the jab, step, and rip. Okay, when pass rushing, I would step to my left 
lean into it, get the center to bite with me because the center's job is get your hands on the guy and control him. And as he would take that step, that's when I would end up dipping the shoulders where you're making a small target and you're taking your arm and you are basically punching through to dislodge his hands and then stepping back across. It's got to be fast and it's all got to coordinate because now you're shooting that gap to get in between. And if you don't think there's skill involved in that, and if you don't think there's skill involved in being able to handle that, then you're sadly mistaken. So as I was getting set up for the game live stream here and stuff, I was listening to the Pat McAfee show, and they were talking about somebody I'd never heard of before on CBS Sports, Maggie and Perloff, and they have a sports show. And so I heard my trigger word, skilled players. And so I had to go through and check this out. And so, unfortunately, well, no, let's see what. Let's listen to it, okay? Let's listen to what she said. The one good thing, though, at least about offensive linemen, I would say maybe beyond center, but even maybe center, it doesn't take you a long time to get acclimated. Like, if you mm. are a guy who's coming in off the street, it's not like, you know, you're just an offensive line. I don't, I don't mean to dedicate. You're pushing guys this, around. Okay, I go don't push know. that guy around. Maggie, you're going to tell this to our buddies, <laughs> Jeff Schwartz. And I Jeff, don't know I think if would that's agree true. with me. I don't know if that's true. They are the smartest players on the team. Everyone says that. They're, well, they're the highest AT score guys. And I get the center because no, all the all, you're calling out the protections. Mm, you, you know. Go ahead and tweet that and CC Jeff and Mitchell Schwartz, our <laughs> no. friends. They will destroy you. No. They, don't want they to. all say that offensive lineman is the smartest position. I don't want to tweet them because I want to remain friends with them. But this is what I really think. I really think mm. that an offensive lineman does not need a month to get acclimated to a team. I think they need a week or two. I don't, I don't know if that's true. I, I think there's a lot of scheme that goes on here. I don't think it's a simple just push that guy. What's uh, the what do you think is the position you can learn the quickest on the fly? I would say offensive line or maybe running back. Yeah, I guess so. Because rookies do well. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I mean also just like hit the hole. <laughs> push somebody around. It's like it doesn't feel like yeah. you kind of like it's simple assignments. But that being except said, except for like picking up the pass protection, I guess. I think historically having a rookie left tackle is is death. It's usually not a great. It's thing. not just you're learning the scheme. But it's I, the physical part too. I do. I, I think you need to learn how to play the position. Yeah. I, I think there are a lot of intricacies. You're right. The scheme might be easier. Wide receiver, you have to learn a route tree or. I don't know. How about cornerback? Because all you do, the number one cornerback, just follow that wide receiver. Kind oh, of no, I'd much rather be a rookie left tackle than a rookie corner. Rookie corners no, get no. burned. I no, feel no, like no, that's no. one of the hardest positions to learn. Oh, wait till you watch Carolina this year. Rookie left tackle is death for everybody involved. It's not good. No, I know it's not awesome, but I'd take a rookie left tackle before a rookie corner. Quarterbacks. You see Patrick Sertain last year? He was fine. He was great. Okay, one guy. I think for the most part, I think it is the hardest to acclimate to corner, besides quarterback, obviously. But corner, I think, is so Mm. tough. I don't know. Like you're just asking to get totally (sighs) Wait, you just run. Run after that guy. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, so this is the dumbest thing that I have ever heard. Let's be clear here. Any position in the NFL is not easy to learn. You're talking about one of the most physical positions on the field. Cerebral positions on the field. This is sad. And I don't mean to to, to make light of, of, of her or anything else and all that because, you know, shout out to her for getting the position she has and the job and stuff. But if your perception is, is oh, you know, you're just a fat guy, go out there and play, then, then tell that to Chaz Green. Tell that to the Raiders who right now their number one pick from last year was an offensive tackle who they're thinking about cutting. Go around and look at all of the failures. Do you know how many left tackles, good left tackles there are in the world? Good ones? It's about like quarterbacks. It's about like quarterbacks. Yeah, there's quite a few quarterbacks, but not very many good ones. Not many good ones. And so this perception is definitely the dumbest thing that I've heard today. That it's just, you know, anybody basically can go out there and be a fat guy and get in the way. All right, good people. 
Now I understand why so many people don't seem to understand football and always just look at the quarterback and say, well, the team lost because the quarterback sucks. If you're thinking that anybody can just play tackle, then you have not actually watched what goes on on the offensive line and understand that, you know, if you're blaming the running back and saying that the running back has lost a step and don't understand that the running back is getting the ball and there's already a defensive lineman right there in his face as he takes the first step and he has no momentum and say the running back sucks, then you don't understand football. It is a team sport and not anybody. Left tackle is the hardest position and the highest paid offensive lineman on the football field for a reason. I'm Mark Holmes. And, oh, my God. Some of the people out there are just not that bright. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't Hurts. handle the, the truth. Hurts. The pass. Throws. Pick. Horrible pass. Oh my God. 